this is Tom here from Metal Loud, here to review the album Gutter Phenomenon from Buffalo, New York band Every Time I Die. Uh, if you can't tell by the site's imagery, uh, I am a huge Every Time I Die fan. I will just put that out there so you can, you know, make your opinion on this review. Um, I feel like, again, this band has progressed their sound further, that they continue to push themselves um, I think they took the sound that was explored with the track Ebola Rama off of their previous album, Hot Damn, that um, kind of took their almost southern rock infused math core sound and kind of toned it down a little bit, and it, it kind of felt like an actual single. Uh, it had a hook, it, you know, uh, everything was uh, melodic, um, everything made sense, it was easy to listen to, it was easy to get into. Um, you know, there was a, a steady beat to it. Um, it it's, you know, a sound that they did with Ebo Rama, and they kind of, um, it's kind of what sets the tone for this album, which is a lot of that. Uh, a lot of the sounds are, you know, you're going to be thumping your feet uh, to the beat, uh, you're just going to be nodding your head. Um, they're, they're great to listen to, particularly to the track um, that really kind of encapsulate this, this sound is the song uh, The New Black which starts with the sound of a beer can opening, and it's this kind of, like, party anthem um, that's just fun, just fun to listen to. Um, it's one of the first singles off the album, and that's the best way to describe it. It's a single. It really sounds like they went back with this track and kind of, you know, polished it and just made it a great song to listen to, a song that's going to capture your attention, um, and it, it really does that. It's not a, quite as uh, chaotic as their other songs and their previous work um, but it, it fits well with this album um, if you're looking for that more uh, aggressive sound there's also songs like uh, Bored Stiff and Tuscan Temper which are way harsher in sound and a little more just off the wall um, they're you know there's still a melodic beat there but it's kind of under the surface it sounds a little more like their their first album um, their second album Hot Damn um, you know, it, it's kind of got that sound going for it versus the rest of the album, which is described as more single focused. Um, they, there are a lot of songs that are just, uh, accessible and I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, you know, it, it is good to see them progressing their sound and, um, it's, you know, less harsh. Uh, it's not as hard to kind of get into a song as it would be on their their previous albums where it can come off as being just screaming and just noise to some people which i understand completely um i think that this album also kind of improves a lot um not just you know it's a style in a different direction but it also kind of improves uh, objectively in two key areas um uh, first of all the sound on the album is crisp and clean um, there's nothing that's kind of muddled, uh, no, none of the instruments become overpowered or overpowering, um, you know, everything kind of meshes together just very well, um, kind of loses that sort of underground sound that the first two albums had, you know, where it sounds like they kind of just went into a studio and did their thing, this sounds like they kind of went back and went through each track and, you know, cleaned it up a bit, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, if, you know, if that's what kind of caught your attention with this band, um, you know, it was just that dirty, raw sound that they had of their first two albums, you might be a little off-put by it. Um, the other obvious Im improvement over this album is uh, Keith Buckley's vocal work, and particularly his clean singing, which is way, way improved on this album. Um, previous two albums, while the screaming was very, very well done, um, his clean vocals kind of had this off-key kind of charm to them, but, you know, they kind of came off as a little weak, um, it didn't sound like he really had control over his voice with it, this album, you do not get that, um, he, he definitely sounds in control, he sounds confident, and the clean vocals just, they, they sound very, very well done, almost sounds like a completely different person, um, if you compare the clean vocals off this album to Hot Damn, their previous album, um, I would say that, uh, you know, this album's definitely kind of improves in those key areas. Um, it also kind of changes the sound up a little bit. It's still there under the surface, but it's a lot, uh, it's a lot more polished. Um, it kind of trades that rough, raw, aggressive sound that they had for something that's more accessible. 
Um, I think it's kind of going to be one of those things where you're either going to love it or you're kind of going to hate it and wish that, you know, they would kind of almost that they weren't um, looking to kind of polish up their sound. Um, I think it's going to kind of either it's going to divide current fans every time I die. I do think it's going to gain a lot more fans. I think this is going to be an album people are going to be able to uh, actually listen to and say that they like it. Um, that, you know, especially people who are more less into that chaotic math core sound and more into just melodic metal core um, and are looking for those hooks and those breakdowns and things like that. Um, I would recommend this album to Every Time I Die fans, to Metalcore fans, to even Mathcore fans to a degree. Like I said, it does kind of lose a bit of what they had, but you know, in, in the process, they gain a lot. Um, it's definitely a great album from them. They they've shown that they're you know not willing to stand still. That they are going to progress their sound. They are going to change their sound, but they're not going to compromise themselves while doing it. Uh, I think this is a perfect example of that, um, you know, and we'll have to see where they go from here.